My name is Mark Breuer and we're at the Headlands Art Center uh, just outside of San Francisco. Whether I'm technically a photographer or not is, is uh, maybe a, a longer question. Um, but I, you know, my work is based in photography. I studied photography. But what happened within that framework was that, that I essentially started to look inward and came up with this uh, notion that, that photographic paper is a recording device that, that is capable way beyond just recording light or responding to, uh, to a negative. Commercially available photographic paper uh, it, it comes with a set of limitations, right? I mean, it is labeled black and white paper, but the truth is there's color in there. You just have to force it out of it. It is labeled light sensitive, but in truth, it is sensitive to many other forces. So abrasion, heat, pressure, you know, all kinds of forces can be picked up. I've always looked at that as, as sort of a, a, as, as a challenge that just because the box says it's one thing, that really it doesn't have to stop there. One of the pieces in the SF MoMA collection is a piece I did in the darkroom working with alcohol. I would pour alcohol over a piece of black and white paper in the darkroom and then set it on fire. The alcohol burns off and most of the heat rises, so there isn't actually that much damage to the paper. But then I would repeat that process over and over and over and let the alcohol burn off and over time heat builds up and the paper starts to buckle a little bit and it starts to um, respond differently to the alcohol. It starts to pool and, and then um, there's more heat around the edges of the pool. And so over time, the paper records sort of these multiple layers. And then after an hour or so, I would take that piece and put it in the developer and process it. A lot of concepts in photography have their origin in other, in other media. So, uh, you know, lens-based images should be round, but we decided to make them rectangular because we wanted originally that proximity to painting. I'm very interested in this idea of what was it like in the 19th century to make a photograph without ever having seen a photograph, when there were no preconceived notions, there were no categories and subcategories, there wasn't landscape or portrait, it was nothing was clearly defined. Obviously photographers had an eye on painting and, and printmaking and, and borrowed conventions left and right, but still there was an openness to it. A lot of my references are to, you know, early photographers, but a lot of it is also about dropping your own preconceived notions and dropping uh, what you were working on before. In other words, getting off that track that you're on and really uh, start fresh. It takes some effort, right? I think it's sort of a, we were naturally inclined to sort of do what works and, and you have to pull the rug out from under yourself every now and then so you, you're not stuck.